crews got right after last night, wasting no time. Once they got that roadway uh, shut down at 9 p.m., that is when they started work. And take a look at this video from this morning, fresh from the job site, where crews are busy working on westbound 50. It's the inside lanes, the fast lanes of the roadway, where they are uh, working right now. Those have been blocked off by K rails put in place overnight. The, uh, a lot of the grinding is done. That was done before this part of the project began. Now they're in there getting ready to start tear down the uh, inside guardrail to rebuild that, and then also getting ready to put down four inches of new concrete that'll cover up all the old cracks and put down some uh, new seals. And uh, really just trying to give this road 20 new years of life and make it a lot nicer for the drivers heading down the roadway. With this, though, Caltrans has been very concerned about this part of the project, knowing that it would have a big impact on westbound 50. The biggest concern is that this traffic is right on top of everything on the actual construction zone versus the eastbound side. The eastbound side had a buffer basically before you transitioned into where the work was actually being done. Here, people are right on top of it, and it's kind of a blind curve coming into it. So if you haven't come up with an alternate router, you just have to come into the construction site. They really want you to be aware of just how quickly you come into the site after coming around those curves. And the CHP will be out there monitoring the situation, enforcing the reduced speed limit, and also making sure the drivers are being safe as they come into this uh, enhanced part of the construction project, which, again, they have already been concerned about. And it'll even get worse as they move to the outside lanes and shut down even more ramp uh, areas there. That's going to cause even more traffic problems.